language expert. Now, Dr. Glass is going to show us how you can detect when somebody is lying. I'm not sure I want to do this. <laughs> uh, so we have Beth and Megan, who both say they are associate producers at the show. So I'm going to let Dr. Glass get to work. OK, so Megan, correct? Yeah. Um, so how long have you been with the show? Been with the show for about three years now. Three years? Yeah. That's a long time. And how about yourself? How long have you been with the show? Uh, about three and a half. Three and a half mm -hmm. years. Very good. Since you've been with the show, um, when's Maggie's wedding day? Maggie's wedding day? There's no Maggie. There's no Maggie? Mm -hmm. Really? And when is Maggie's wedding day? Well, I know there's a dog named Maggie, but I don't know That's if it's getting right. married. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. What's a typical day like for you at the Dr. Phil show? Oh. There is no typical day. It's just so well, sporadic. Yeah, what's a day that you had last weekend? Let's see, Monday, uh, I got up at about 4 a.m. and, uh, you know, got my coffee, got my donut in the morning. Uh, Awful, had no energy. Really? Yeah, and then, you know, got on with the uh -huh. show, prepared. What was, what was the most uh, shocking show you've ever done? Oh, gosh. Probably this one. Really? Yeah. Yeah, this is pretty shocking. Well, it reminded me of one of my ex-boyfriends. Sure. Yes. So I was like, what? And what was the most shocking show you've ever done? Oh, well, we had a surprise wedding one time. That really? was pretty fun. Yeah, that was that And was it wasn't surprising. with Maggie. It was not with Maggie. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Well, it's really interesting, Dr. Phil, what we found out here. And there were a lot of tells of honesty, and there were a lot of tells of not so honesty. And, OK, uh, so who do you think's lying? <laughs> you think she's lying? <laughs> Why do you think that? Well, one of the things, she was giving too much information. I asked her, what's a typical day like? And she went into too much detail. She was talking about the donuts. That's the last thing you're going to be thinking about if you're working at the Dr. Phil show. You're going to be thinking about your schedule and what you have to do. And also, you were shaking a little bit. I watched your body language. You were a little nervous because you're on TV, right? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you were calm and cool. You just whipped <laughs> it off. Your posture was straight. And I watched your breathing as well. You had a lot of upper chest breathing. Your breathing was not uh, at all noticeable. So you were very, very calm. And it was kind of uncomfortable to talk to you. So how sure are you? Uh, pretty sure, Dr. Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Real sure. <laughs> as sure as you are. Yeah. Well, should we break her heart? Oh, no. <laughs> this is Beth, who's been with the show for a long, long time. <laughs> right here. <clears throat> so, you are, however, very creative. I <laughs> try to be. Yeah, you are very creative. All right, listen, research tells us by the time children are three years old, they know how to lie, and shockingly enough, it's their parents who teach them this. Now, Melissa says she is at her wit's end over what to do with her 12-year-old daughter, Ashley, who started stealing and lying at eight years old. Take a look at this. My 12-year-old daughter, Ashley, lies all the 